So I'm here with Rosemary Watkins, thank you very much. Um, and I've got a question from uh, that was submitted. Do you have any suggestions for helping children let go of toys they no longer play with um, without those tears? Mm. Gosh, yes. <laughs> Um, yes, children can have so many toys nowadays and often you see, um, you know, playrooms and uh, full with, with toys and um, I think toy libraries are really a great idea yes. <laughs> for, um, you know, helping children not maybe accumulate the toys but recognising like books that we bring them home and bring them back. Uh, but coming back, that's a little bit aside to the question, but coming back to your, um, quest, your query from the customer. Um, I think something of invo involving the child is really important because if suddenly something disappears without negotiation, even though these little children, these children are little pint-sized, you know, people, they do know they like to be respected and yeah. they like to be taken into consideration um, on all matters, and I think that's really great when it does involve them. Obviously, there'll be certain things that parents say that this is not for you to decide about. It's only for mummy and daddy to decide about, etc. But if it's their things, their their stuff, <laughs> yeah. Like, then I think involving them in a, in the process is really helpful and important, and inviting their cooperation with uh, in the process of, in terms of something like um, if we don't let go of some of the things, we won't be able to have space for new things. Is yeah. one of them, or you know I've noticed that you're not playing with that now for quite a while, or this is something that you played with when you were younger, and um, now you've moved on to wanting to play with other toys um, let's see if there's anybody we can donate the toys to yeah. children maybe who might um, be a little bit younger or in need that might benefit from them or in fact donating them to a toy library or something like that Great. and then involving the child with that process of you know washing and cleaning it pack, getting it organized or ready to be brought to some place as a, with a donation uh, my sense is that it will go a long way, um, can't guarantee it obviously, <laughs> but I think it will go a long way to reducing the attachment in terms of the tears and then letting them choose one or two things that are maybe from the past when they were younger that they want to hold on to, oh. but in a little special box, that's, yeah. uh, but only something small and something that's, um, of, you know, that they want, they've decided that they can choose to keep for now. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome.